What breakthrough did a first year grad student find out about rain on the sun? Explore these topics and more on Surveying the Cosmos. Hi everyone, I'm Eric and welcome to Surveying the Cosmos, where I'll get your space news and more real fast. When I finally have some time to do astrophotography in the night sky, the last thing I want to do is see a chance of rain, liquid water falling from the clouds in the sky. But did you know that astronomers are struggling to figure out how it rains on the sun? It's not water vapor, but cooler, dense blobs of plasma falling back on the sun known as solar rain. It appears that the explanation on how solar rain works has been cracked by a first-year grad student named Luke Benevitz with his work recently published in Astrophysical Journal. Past models made assumptions that the abundance of plasma was consistent in space and time. However, coronal condensations formed due to the formation of areas of abundances that fluctuate in various regions and over time. As these area abundances of plasma form, heat is radiated and the cooler blobs of plasma rain come down on the coronal surface. These findings will help solar scientists better model the sun's behavior during flares that can lead to better predictions on space weather that depicts our lives here on Earth. In today's Did You Know segment, did you know that out of 417 known moons in our solar system, six of them are classified as icy moons. An icy moon has a surface mostly composed of ice and may have an ocean underneath its surface. Due to gravitational forces with its planet and or cryovolcanic activity, these moons are believed to harbor liquid water below its surface. These six icy moons in our solar system are Europa orbiting Jupiter, Mimas, Tethys, Dione, Rhea, and Enceladus orbiting Saturn. With six icy moons and oceans below their surface, do you think that they contain life? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to all my new subscribers for joining me here at Surveying the Cosmos. We've just busted a thousand subscribers. I'm grateful that you have joined me here and learning together about our amazing universe. Until next time, take care and clear skies. Thank you.